guys, this is Kristen, and I'm coming to you live from Ethereum, South Carolina. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Um, I wanted to hop on here and share some information because I've been having some conversations with quite a few of you about headaches and like other symptoms that you have been experiencing. And I know that it's hot outside. Some of you are like getting started on your wellness journey. And I thought maybe these tips could help you because you guys are drinking water and for some reason it doesn't seem that it's helping. So uh, we're gonna talk about electrolytes today, talk about what they are, give you some examples of it, how you can problem solve through some of those issues that you may be having. And uh, hopefully that will help you. If it does, uh, don't forget to share out this video. Um, sharing is caring number one, but then someone else can also benefit from this as well. Also, don't forget to say hi. I'm super excited that you are here. Let me know where you're coming in from. And if anything that I'm sharing with you, if it's helpful, you maybe can drop like a thumbs up or let me know if it was helpful, like specifically because you were dealing with one of those uh, issues. Anyway, we're going to get to it. Um, so how many of you, hey, Barbara, hey, Sherry, hey, Kim, Hey, Becky. Hi, Tara Lynn. How many of you have ever experienced symptoms of keto flu? First of all, if you don't know what keto flu is, um, it's one of those things that people get really like about whenever they decide to give their lifestyle a try. And I have to tell you that regardless of whether you choose the ketogenic lifestyle as your lifestyle of choice, you can sometimes still experience uh, symptoms of keto flu. Essentially, those symptoms include um, headaches specifically. Usually, sometimes you'll run to the bathroom a little more often than you would like. Uh, you may notice some cramping, some fatigue, some muscle spasms, nausea. There's a lot of different symptoms. If you just Google keto flu, you literally are gonna be inundated with a lot of information there. And I wanna share with you that it's actually a very easy fix. And what has happened in your body whenever you experience those symptoms more than likely you are low in electrolytes okay it's a really quick easy really simple solution uh, that you can um, you can follow in order to fix that problem for you and I'm going to share with you what they are today okay so what are electrolytes electrolytes are essentially what our bodies need in order to survive. If you're low in electrolytes, um, your body doesn't function, okay? Um, I actually looked this up before I hopped on here because if you Google it and you find out our electrolytes necessary, we'll actually tell you that a lot of our body, well actually our whole body runs on electricity. That's why if you ever have issues with your heart, they have to shock it, right? Like you've got family members that have pacemakers um, or anything like that. Your body is made up of electricity, and if you're low on electrolytes, that means that the electricity that's happening in your body isn't functioning the way uh, that it should. That means the electrical current that's in your body is not firing off the way that it should. Those electrolytes that you have in your system are actually going to tell the tissues and the cells in your body what to do. Therefore, if you're low in those electrolytes, it's going to cause some problems, okay? And so what I want to do with you is I want to share with you some things that I keep around the house to help help me some of you um, are out there and you're taking supplements. I know I personally drink exogenous ketones um, and they've been really, really impactful in my journey. And I never ever coach clients not to take electrolytes whenever they are switching their lifestyle. But let's say you are taking something else or you experience these symptoms. Um, I've even had some clients that opt out of choosing electrolytes whenever they first start their journey. And I'm like, please just get the electrolytes. Um, and uh, then later on they're like, well, I need them and I don't have them. So so what do I do? So here are some things that I personally recommend you having on hand. First of all, I'm going to share with you uh, the types of necessary electrolytes that you really need, especially if you're following some form of the ketogenic lifestyle. Is this being helpful to you? If it is, drop a yes in the comments below. Don't forget to follow. And if you want access to more tips and more recipes, go ahead and comment the word recipes down below. And I'll be happy to share with you some information to help you get started on your wellness journey. I see a lot of you are brand new. And uh, I don't want to leave you hanging, okay, sister, brother, friend. Um, I want to give you all the goods in order for you to be successful. I've been doing this now for about three and a half years, um, have experienced some success, and now I coach and train people how to have that success as well. So some major, um, major electrolytes that I want for you to focus on incorporating into your lifestyle, sodium, magnesium, and potassium. Those are usually the ones that you really want to focus on. Zinc and calcium are some other ones. Um, and uh, you can make it as like an easy, simple fix. 
as buying like little uh you can buy them specifically from the from the store okay um now i will tell you that there are tests out there that will you can find out doing blood work or you can go out there and google all these tests out there that will tell you if you're actually low in specific electrolytes like this one um i personally have even had conversations with clients and they'll tell me Oh, I don't need to do that because I already take a multivitamin. And my recommendation to you is for you not to really focus on a multivitamin, but try to find out what your body specifically needs so that it can function at an optimal level. In my experience, people that take multivitamins, it has a lot of stuff in there that their bodies don't need and it doesn't have enough of what they do need. And so pinpointing those specific things, like I have here, um, I take these every single morning um, to help me get through my day and help for me to replenish electrolytes that would be lost whenever I'm in ketosis. Now we all know that I also take um, upgraded electrolytes every single day. Uh, Mitoplex is one of them. There's I grabbed two lemon and I meant to grab an orange. Um, so there we have we actually have four different flavors. We have a plain, a lime, a lemon, and then an orange flavor that you essentially just add to water, um, and it has all of the electrolytes that you would need necessary to avoid some of those symptoms as well. Um, another couple of quick tips for you, if and you might probably already have these things around your house. Pink Himalayan salt is really good. This is going to be the best version of healthy sodium that you can get into your system. And I cannot tell you how many times I've heard someone say, I thought sodium was bad for you. And I'm like, I mean, if you have too much of it, yes. And unfortunately, a lot of those processed foods that you're probably consuming has some unhealthy sodium in it. This is going to have that adverse effect. This is what your body needs. Um, it's got some really good sodium in there. Um, if you turn it over, you'll be able to see using the nutrition facts. I got this from TJ Maxx. If you're ever experiencing like a headache or something like that, um, especially if you're fasting, I know sometimes people will experience that whenever um, they're fasting, they'll get those headaches. Um, just take a, a little bit in your hand and lick it, um, and then that should help to subside some of those, um, those headaches that you might have. Last but not least, um, I always encourage my clients to take a swig of pickle juice if you are experiencing any of those symptoms. Now, you're probably now wondering, well, that's all good. That's all well and good, but how do I know that I need those things? If that's you, if you're like, well, how would I know if I'm low in sodium or how would I know if I'm low in potassium? Here are some of those symptoms uh, that you might be experiencing. If you're low in sodium, you'll probably, for number one, headaches, okay? If I ever have a client that tells me that they're um, that they're experiencing headaches whenever they switch their lifestyle, it's either lack of water, they're not drinking enough water, but if you are and you're still experiencing these headaches, you want to ask yourself, are you eating enough? Are you sleeping enough? Do you have stress in your life? Or do you need to add a little bit more sodium into your lifestyle? You might also experience fatigue, restlessness, brain fog, and even nausea if you're low in um, sodium. Some of the foods that you can consume if you're low in sodium, um, I already mentioned uh, pickles and like pickle juice, but you can eat bacon. Um, bone broth is a really good one that you can get even from the grocery store. You don't even have to make your own. Um, and... Uh, uh, like nuts, that's going to have some good healthy sodium in there for you as well. Again, say hi as you're hopping on, and don't forget to share out this video. If you do, comment the word shared so I can say thank you. Um, now, if you're low in magnesium, there's a couple of symptoms that you might experience. Muscle cramps, GI distress, so if you've got a little bit of diarrhea going on, um, or your stomach just feels kind of upset, you may be low in magnesium. Most of you kind of already know this based on like those old school remedies that we used to take, like the magnesium stuff to alleviate those problems. Um, and any of the others, really, um, the other symptoms that I explained, with um, having a lack of sodium can cause that issue. So in order to alleviate that, if you're not taking a supplement or upgrading with electrolytes into your lifestyle, um, you can have avocado. Leafy greens are a great option for you to get in some magnesium um, and also some seeds. And then finally, potassium is another one that I hear a lot of people talk about that they feel um, they feel kind of lethargic, maybe a little numb, um, maybe your heart's racing, uh, or you just feel kind of like, eh, something's not quite right. You're just feeling crampy. That is going to show you that you're probably low in um, potassium. 
easy fix. You need to consume some avocados. I would definitely go for some like mushrooms. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, broccoli is going to help you with that. Zucchini. Um, and of course, any of those leafy greens. Um, and of course, the, the foods that I'm sharing with you are going to be those lower carb options. I do understand that there are some other things um, that have those uh, electrolytes in them, some natural foods that you would eat that may be higher in carbs. And you definitely can consume those as well if you... Um, you know, if you're not following keto or low carb, right? And you're experiencing those symptoms. So by the way, I do have some cheat sheets for you. So if you are the type of person that you, um, you would love to have this laid out for you, um, where you could easily see like, what's the symptom tracker? Um, go ahead and comment cheat sheets below. I'll get you signed up on our wellness tips and I'll send those over to you, um, so that you can be best prepared. Um, if you're getting started on your wellness journey, otherwise I hope that information was super helpful to you. If it was drop a yes in the comments below. And also don't forget to share out this video. Um, this is just great. Like introductory information, regardless of whether you're keto or you're not, if you're on a wellness journey, you want to make sure that you're consuming those good, healthy electrolytes. You can often get them in your food, but sometimes, unfortunately, we just can't seem to do that and get it from our foods. And so um, that's some, some good strategies. If you guys hopped on late, a few of the things that I said um, that I share or that I keep on hand are pink salt, uh, pickle juice, um, upgraded electrolytes like the Mitoplex that I take every day, and then of course having that supplement of calcium, magnesium, zinc, and potassium. Um, this one was a really good one because it was all combined. I love it when they do that. Um, but then, uh, but you can also buy them separately. You don't have to get them all together. Um, and then you can just take those every single day. Um, I don't remember if these are with or without food. I usually take them in the morning. It says preferably, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I see you guys. If you can, Sheree, if you can message me over on Instagram and I'll get you hooked up sister. I'm super grateful um, that I got to spend this time with you and I hope that that was helpful to you. Uh, don't forget to hit that follow and make sure you send over a friend request so that we can chat more. Um, and I'm super excited that you're here and I can't wait to see uh, what the next phase of your wellness journey is going to look like. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday evening and as always I will see you guys tomorrow.